So hi guys, it's Mariana Grasso and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my updated how I take notes. So nothing in like the structure of my notes has really changed. All I've done is I've changed the materials that I use so I'm going to be talking about that in today's video. So to start, I've been recently using the Zebra Mild Liners for all of my headers. I used to switch between the Mild Liners and the Crayola Super Tips but now I almost exclusively use these. And this is the 15 pack and I got it from Target. It was in my back to school haul. I also used the Zebra Sarasa mark on for all my writing, my pen writing. I use the Zebra Sarasa study. I recently just got this pen and I love it. It's awesome as well. Or the Zebra Sarasa 0.5, just the regular version. Again, here's my mild liners. So they work really well with the Zebra Mark-On pens because if you leave it for like a few seconds, it doesn't smudge. And then this is the notebooks that I use. So these are the Kokio Campus Smart Ring binders and they come in a bunch of different colors. I just decided to get clear because it's very universal. And these are different from other notebooks or binders because it's 26 rings instead of your usual three um, i also love it because there's a cute little tab at the top that you can use to open up the rings and rearrange the papers in your notebook and so now we're just going to go through a little flip through of my new note taking method so it's pretty much the same structure like I still use you know the bullet points the arrows I still have diagrams and everything like that all that has changed really is the material and the notebooks that I use in my notes so this is a flip through of my biology notes and then I also have Spanish notes and at the end of the semester, I will be doing like a full flip through of all my notes. This is the paper I use. So this is the Kokio Campus Sarasara B5 paper and they come in packs of 100. I got two of them just so I can for sure that I'm lasting through the rest of the semester. So this paper is unique than your regular line paper. It actually has little dots in between the lines. So it's good for making diagrams, tables, bar graphs without using a ruler. So now I'm just gonna show you guys uh, an example notes. So I would start with a title with the mild liner and then I go in with my Tombow Fudenosuke pen, my brush pen. And I just do some lettering over top and I also do the accent color and I just do a line where the title is not. And then I use the Zebra Sarasa mark on for all the writing that I do. That's the pen that I use primarily and I usually have a subtitle which I highlight and then I would have an arrow which has information and then if there's more detail that's needed I will use little dashes and then little bullet points if there's even more detail that needs to be discussed. Then if there's something that the teacher specifically notes or emphasizes in the lecture I will box it as an important detail so that when I'm glancing at my notes that's like one of the first things that I see. In addition to this, I also have been loving to include more diagrams and pictures that are related to the topic. And I've also been loving to do versus charts like mitosis versus meiosis because they really just help um, see the differences between the two things. And then for subjects like English, I will do sometimes like a vocab chart like this where I will have the word and then the definition on both sides and it's just a little bit more structured than just writing it plain in my notebook. And again, I wanted to talk about how I do not rewrite my notes. 
most of these notes I just do after class, after the lecture. I'll take screenshots and keep them on my computer, but I rarely ever rewrite my notes. The only time I've had to rewrite my notes is for my psychology class, just because there's so much information, and usually during the class, it's hard for me to get it. So right here, I'm just showing you my process. So I have folders with all the screenshots for different subjects. Then I'll pull up the specific screenshot that I need open the notebook for the class. So here I was taking notes for psychology. Then I will pick the color that I want to use for the notes and then just do the title. So this is just me showing you guys like my process and how I write my notes in real time. I really haven't had to rewrite my notes. Um, I just want to say that again. And also while we're here, I wanted to talk a little bit about how um, a lot of people see my note taking method as unnecessary and very time consuming. But in my opinion, taking my notes this way honestly helps me study almost as a study method for me because I'm able, I have to process the information in my head as I'm writing it. So it's almost a better, more effective study method for me personally. So that's why I really like it. And if it was getting unnecessary or too time consuming, you would see me drop it in a heartbeat, but it hasn't been like so time consuming that I'm slacking on homework or anything. It's really just a fun thing for me to do and it's also a study method again. So we're nearing the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me take notes and seeing my updated note taking method. Again, like I said earlier, I will be doing a flip through at the end of the semester of all of my notes from every single class that I've taken this semester. So stay tuned for that. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe down below. We are on our road to 200 subscribers. I'm so excited for that. Oh my gosh, it feels like we just hit 100 yesterday, which we literally did. But thank you guys for all the love and support. And I will see you guys in Friday's video. Bye.